Hi there, welcome to this Java tutorial from Ritus.com. In this tutorial, let's look at enhanced for loop. Let's look at how we can use an enhanced for loop to loop around an array and also how to use the enhanced for loop to loop around an array list. Um, what you are seeing here is uh, we have a simple class defined um, enhanced for loop example. I would want to implement two methods in here find sum of array and find sum of array list. Find sum of array actually takes uh, obviously takes an array as input and we would want to find the sum and similarly an array list. Also to make the things quicker actually have a couple of tests defined uh, which when run actually tell me whether uh, the whole code which we have implemented is working or not. I will for now ignore uh, the second test so that let's concentrate on looping around the array first and then we can go ahead and see uh, looping around uh, array list. So let's get started. Uh, what we want to do now is to loop use an enhanced loop for loop to loop around an array. So uh, I have a method defined find sum of array it's accepting an array as parameter and I have a basic template defined already I have a int sum is equal to zero sum is a temporary variable to hold this sum and I'm returning the sum back. So how do I loop around it? Uh, the usual for loop actually has a complicated syntax so it has uh, the basic for loop it has a syntax like initialization increment and then condition check there are different parts to it but the enhanced for loop uh, which was introduced in java 5 makes everything very easy so all that i need to do is say i int number and say colon array so that's all there is in defining an enhanced for loop so what we are doing here is actually saying loop around all the values in the array each time put the value in the air, current value of the array in the number and loop around that's basically what happens so if i say sum plus is equal to number what keeps happening is the loop gets executed and the number gets added to the sum and whenever the loop like after each execution of the loop the next element in the array gets assigned to number so now if let's say i have array containing one two okay let's have real values 23 34 45 let's say i have an array of these values what happens is when the for loop is executed first the value of number would be 23 when the for loop is executed next the value of number would be 34 and when the for loop is executed next the value of number would be 45 and like java takes care of putting the right value from the array in the number value and all that we need to do is do the sum plus is equal to number. So that's how easy it is to use the enhanced for loop. Uh, with a basic for loop, we had to do a lot of stuff. And that's where Java helps us a lot from Java 5 onwards. We have the enhanced for loop. Okay, that's how you loop around an array. Let's quickly run this test. Oops. Let's save it, please okay that's good so two out of two one ignored and the test succeed so that's good what i'll do is now let's loop around an error list so let's now some error list using enhanced for loop that's basically what we want to do uh, the test is actually similar minus 15 minus 15 so uh, it just sums it and returns the values back so now let's go ahead and implement the enhanced for loop for an error list so i have a predefined method already present here so I have an integer variable sum initialized to zero and it's being written back. Uh, the enhanced for loop for an array list surprisingly is not very different, sorry, unsurprisingly is not very different from looping around an array. So what, how do we do that? So it's very simple. For I'm having integers in the array list, so I'd say integer number and colon array list so this is it, this is very similar to how we did the array and the body goes in here so that's basically how you loop around so instead of the array earlier in the array looping we had array here instead of that we will have the array list in here uh, the rest of the stuff actually remains very same so now i would do sum plus is equal to number that's basically all that i would need to do to implement this stuff so uh, let's run the test 
and make sure it's working. So that's really good, two out of two pass. So what we have done is actually used an enhanced Perl loop to loop around an array, loop around an array list and we have written a sample test also to check all that stuff out and as you see it's very simple, um, good even though Java is late in picking up the enhanced Perl loop stuff but I'm happy that it's there. Let's end our discussion on enhanced Perl loops here. We are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.